I'm Helen Nelson and I play Fly Half for Scotland. Scotland take it quickly on the back of the free kick coming from the scrum. Put it through the hands and asking the question on the outside here. There's a little bit of space to work with for McGee. Oh, McGee takes her on. She's ripped in Francesca McGee. The new superstar for Scotland is in. Yeah, it's been good, the journey so far. Um, I feel like we've really built into the tournament. We weren't overly happy with our full 80-minute performance that we put out against South Africa. So leading into the USA week, it was all about focusing on us. It was actually really hot out here in Cape Town, so we had to probably had a, a bit less time on the pitch, but I think that was good in terms of, for our mindset, we just had to be really clinical um, and really accurate when we were out there on the pitch and really make use of all of that time. Um, and I think we had a really, really good uh, preparation for the USA game, and I think that showed on the pitch. I'm over. We've talked about it for the last eight weeks, how this group is what gets us that W. This group is what gets that team, that squad for the weekend to where they need to be. We genuinely could not go out and put the forms that we are going to put in without this group and without that session we've just done. Take humongous confidence from that. Today was our physical day, so it was our final contact session before we played at the USA. We're expecting them to be a physical team, so it was just about getting the shots in, getting our detail right, and I think we're all feeling really good going into the game. so cool to see you know like so many girls who hadn't played rugby before and they were just keen to get the ball in their hands and play have fun and they were so welcoming for us as well it was a proper breath of fresh air and um, yeah they were just there to have a good time we were teaching some of them some Kaylee dances and um, it was yeah just good to have a bit of a change of scene
yeah, our culture amongst the girls is really important or as a, as a full squad. Um, it's something we're very proud of and we work, work on all the time. Um, we're very close-knit and we pride ourselves on being together and that being able to have honest conversations and ultimately work for each other on the pitch. But also um, with our short presentations at times we um, just have like a one-to-one -one conversation and say to a player, to a teammate, what you want them to do to make them proud, to make you proud and, um, and vice versa and I think it just builds that kind of connection and that um, personal bond, that off-pitch bond which ultimately is just going to help on the pitch and make us better. Nope. Hi guys, um, I just feel a little bit different tonight. Um, I think the most important thing is that what we have talked about right from the start is the togetherness and this week is you know, the, the mindset anchor is about pride. And I think the pride that I have standing here, kind of just any time, whether it's coaching, whether it's women speaking to you, whether it's just being part of this group, it's, it's, the pride is real. The, the pride of being Scottish last night is something unreal. Like just coming in here and listening to the pipes, watching you dance, and that, that pride was like, you, you, can't live in, you can't explain to anybody that's not here, like genuinely. You don't understand what this group's all about unless you're involved in it. And that's pride for me. To be able to watch you tomorrow going out as a pride, Pride of Mad Dogs, Pride of Lions, together, is, is, I know exactly what we're all about. I know exactly how we are going to put in a performance that we can all be proud of. So take your time, get up whenever you want, and you're going to spend time with that person, and let's be proud to receive that jersey, to present that jersey, and to present that medal of participation that we're all involved in. And remember, it's all of us, this whole room, that are representing Scotland tomorrow against USA. How are you feeling? Scotland take it quickly on the back of the free kick coming from the scrum. Put it through the hands and asking the question on the outside here. There's a little bit of space to work with for McGee. Oh, McGee takes her on. She's ripped in Francesca McGee. The new superstar for Scotland is in. Asking questions of the Eagles defense on the try line. They could go again now. Over the line, another try for Scotland. Last time she hit the post. 
This time she raises the flag. 12 points to nil, Scotland lead. Crucial pass, away it goes to Rachel McLaughlin. McLaughlin on the outside, she feeds it off to Lloyd. Lloyd is going to ask that question. Oh, she's ripped in. 11 and 14, inside, outside, over the line. Scotland's conceded seven penalties now. Stathopoulos feeds, a brilliant line out by the replacement hooker and at the back they can't get the rolling more going again USA. The hard work and Tafula gets them within a meter or two. Ready to go again, that was Talia Brody. The USA with quick ball and this time they cross the line. She's been working as hard as anybody, Charlie Jacobi. Everything legal, no penalty advantage, play on is the call. USA could still keep their scoreboard clean here, it's a 10 point game, it's a crucial play. In over the ball, no steal for the USA from Katana Howard. Scotland just keep coming. Numbers on the left. Can they capitalize? Mattinson slowly picking it out, surely the overlap has got to be exploited. Scotland moving to Ronnie! Quick ball needed, Rachel Johnson gets it free, it's away to Zachary, Zachary looking to unleash Ngannou, Ngannou has two outsider, one of them, oh, maybe employing the elbow there, Talia Brody, close to the line, USA have got to capitalize it, oh, it's desperation play from Tess Fury, desperately holding on, if they can get past this area of resistance, they might just have a path, but Conklin is coming straight through the center, ripping it up, but breaking away is Paige Stathopoulos, Early substitute for the USA. She makes it count and puts the game, perhaps, back in the balance. Knocked back to the 22. Madison gets it free for Nelson. Nelson with the short ball for Ronnie. Ronnie! Oh! An electrifying player, Chloe Ronnie. Kicking the ball dead, Scotland. What a way to finish the match. Is our time. Let's go. Scotland on three. One, two, three. Scotland! Woo!